Hello beautiful souls, it's Heather. Welcome to the Tap Into Your Magic seven day yoga and EFT tapping challenge. I'm so happy that you're here. This is officially day one of seven and each day we'll be doing a different yoga flow and there'll also be an EFT tapping, but we will do that at the end of this video. If you wanna know more about why I'm doing this challenge, what it's about, you can also find a link below. It's a very quick one if you want more detail, but if you're ready to get started, this is suitable for beginners and intermediates. We're just here to have fun and give ourselves some self-love. Now, each day there is a slightly different theme. So today is all about feeling grounded and connected. And we'll be working with a different affirmation every day. So today is, I am grounded and present. I am grounded and present. So throughout this flow today, we'll be reminding ourselves of that and really feeling into the present moment because that is a big aspect of self-love, being present with who we are and where we are in this beautiful time and space. Also, if you love any of the outfits that you see during the challenge, they are from Silver Wind. It's an eco-friendly, sustainable company. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I just absolutely love these outfits. So if you would like your little discount code, do you feel free to check that out in the description as well. But let's get started. I'll see you on the mat. Okay, beautiful souls, let's begin with day one. Please find yourself in child's pose. Big toes together, legs as wide as feels comfortable for you, and begin to walk your hands to the top of the mat and drop your forehead to the mat. And take this moment to just settle into the present moment, taking a deep breath in through your nose, and exhale. Just repeat that affirmation to yourself. I am grounded and present a few times. Really feeling your hands on the mat, your forehead, the points of contact, allowing yourself to be here Arriving in this present moment, all is well. And slowly roll up to tabletop pose, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the um, hips, and a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, push the shoulders back, core engaged and exhale round the spine, drawing your chin in towards your chest. We'll do a few more rounds of that to warm up the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale round the spine, chin to chest. Really squeeze that core in one more time. Drop the belly, lift the gaze, maybe push your shoulders back a little bit more. And round the spine, chin to chest. And back to tabletop pose, core slightly engaged. I'd like you to lift your right leg up towards the sky, really squeezing into the glutes. Now this might be enough for you, but if you'd like to take tiger pose as we are wearing the tiger rose top, bring your left hand around to catch a hold of the right foot and really lift up. This is great for opening up the heart, the shoulders. And release and bring that leg all the way forward now for dragon pose. So both hands are on the, on the inside of that right leg. This is great for opening up the hips and take this moment to reconnect back to that affirmation. I am grounded and present. And back to tabletop pose. Well done, we'll switch sides. So core engaged, kick the left leg up to the sky, squeeze the glutes. And this might be enough, or you can bring your right arm around to catch a hold of the foot. Feeling a nice opening of the shoulder. And release 
bring that left leg to the top of the mat, drag and pose on the other side, both hands to the inside of the leg, really feeling your legs and hips start to open up as well. And push back into your first downward facing dog. Shoulders away from the ears, pushing your heels in towards the mat. If they don't touch, that is fine as well. The more times you practice, the easier this will get. Just begin to bend one knee and then the other, allowing this slight motion to release any tension in your legs. And bring your right foot to the top of the mat. We're going into warrior one now. So your back foot is at a slight angle, but keeping your body facing the top edge of your mat, bring both arms up to the sky and bring your hands together into a prayer position. So sometimes the tendency is that your body wants to go this way because your foot's that way, but do make sure you are bringing your body towards the long edge of your mat, to the top of the mat. Both arms up, lean back slightly, core engaged. And then bring your hands behind you and clasp them. And we'll do a humble warrior from here. So bring the upper body down towards the mat, resting your shoulder on the knee, core engaged and lift up. We'll just do that two more times. You might fall out. This is quite a challenge for balance. And back to a humble warrior. Remember you are grounded and connected. And lift back up. Just one more time here. Humble warrior. And lift back up. Well done. And we're going to move into our first peak pose. We do one peak pose for every day, which will be tree. So just allow your arms to release, face your body towards the mat. You can now pivot that foot so you're facing the long edge of your mat. Okay, now push into the right heel, core engaged. And if you can, lift the left knee up. If that was a, a struggle, just bring it up. You might want to hold on to it. And then we're going to transition into tree pose, which I'll show you from this side. You can bring your left leg either on the shin or the inner thigh. You want to avoid the knee joint. We don't want to damage that. So core engaged, hands can be in the, uh, in the prayer position at your heart. Could be hands on the hips. I'll be feeling extra strong today. Both arms up to the sky and just hold here for a, a few breaths, repeating that affirmation. I'm grounded and present. Really feeling your foot on the earth. and release, shake that out. And all we'll do from this position is just simply go into a downward facing dog. So bring your hands back down to the mat. You wanna bend your knees and step back into a downward facing dog. Well done. And we'll simply switch sides. So your left leg comes to the top of the mat now for warrior one, pivot that back foot and lift both arms up to the sky. Again, keeping your core facing towards the top of the mat. Do a gentle back bend here. And then bring both arms behind you and clasp in the other direction. So the other thumb on top from the other side. And we'll do our humble warrior three more times. So lower down, bringing the left shoulder, to the left knee, core engaged and lift back up. Two more times, humble warrior again. Feeling the strength of your body and lift up. Just one more time here, humble warrior. This is great for the shoulders and lift up. And 
release those arms, pivot that back foot towards the top of the mat. And same thing again, if you're ready for that balance challenge, push into the left heel, core engaged, and lift the right foot and leg up towards the sky again. You feel free to hold on to something here, you might want to have that balance. And then transition into your tree pose, whichever way, um, whichever one feels good for you, whether it's on the shin or the inner thigh. And again, you have options, hands in position, or on the hips or to the sky. So you might want to change it this time around. Really pulling that core in tight. Don't hold your breath. And release, shake those legs out. We'll simply step out, bring both legs wider and sink low for a yoga squat. So push both elbows into your knees. I'll show you from this side as well. If this is not accessible, just come onto your fingertips and hold here for a moment. Really feeling grounded and present. You might want to close your eyes for a second. Repeating that affirmation. I am grounded and present. And release. The squat, just come into a cross-legged position wherever you are on the mat. We'll just do a few twists to finish off. Bring your left hand to the right knee, right arm behind you and look over the right shoulder. Cooling things down now. And switch sides. Left, uh, right hand to the left knee, looking over the left shoulder. And back to centre. Just take one deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. And you are done for day one. Congratulations. I hope you're feeling amazing. This is not the end of day one. There should be a video right now where you can do an EFT tapping for self-love. You're tapping in positive affirmations. It's going to feel amazing and it's only five minutes long. So please find that on the screen. Click on that and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for day two.